Hey everyone, it's Brett Stewart. I wanted to do a short um, how-to video this weekend. Uh, this is going to be a shorter one, not as long as my normal one. It's only going to be a couple minutes long. But I wanted to address a question that I seem to get asked a lot. That seems to be a big uh, uh, topic of discussion in the comments. And that is audio interfaces. Um, you know, why do you need them? What are they good for? What different ones do you want? All that sort of thing. So I kind of want to talk about that a little bit. Um, basically, your audio interface is necessary because you can't simply plug your microphone into your computer. It's as simple as that. Um, unless you're using a microphone like a, like a Blue Snowball where it's a USB microphone, um, if you're using like your Audix o OM2s, you're using Shure mics, um, or you're using pretty much any sort of condenser or dynamic microphone, you're going to need to plug them in with like XLR inputs or one or quarter inch inputs. And that's why you use an audio interface. Um, audio interfaces come in, all, come in all shapes and sizes. Um, you can get audio interfaces like the Tascam US1 122 and that is like a simultaneous one where you can do two that's perfect for someone who plays piano and sings or guitar and sings only needs two tracks at once max that's perfect I use that for a long time and I and I recommend it to people um, currently I'm on the Tascam US 800 it has six inputs which is really nice because if I'm recording like a Twin Thieves album or if I'm recording like um, a band that's really nice to be able to do all those tracks simultaneously that basically means I can like I'm, I can record like vocals two guitars, um, and a bassist, and another like backup vocal, and I can basically you know do it all at once if I want to, which is pretty cool. Um, always check out when you're buying an audio interface how many inputs it has. Um, I suggest Tascam. I know there's some discussion in the comments earlier this week about um, Tascam using some inexpensive parts. Um, I'm not familiar with these rumors. Um, because I love Tascam, and I always suggest them to people. And I've used I'm I'm on the I'm on year two with the US 800, and I worked with the with the 122, and I worked with one before that for a couple of years too, and I've never had any issues with them. And when I did have an issue, they were really supportive with me on the phone. So I would highly suggest using Tascam products. I'll link a couple of them below so you can take a look at them. And I'll also link a couple other ones. I know that M Audio makes some nice ones that you sell, but that they sell at Best Buy. Um, you know, Presonus makes a couple of them, so it just it just you gotta kind of shop around and read reviews and see what's gonna be best. But it is necessary to pretty much have one, unless you're using like a USB microphone, in which case you really don't have a purpose of watching these videos because that's not really a home recording studio. Um, so after you have your audio interface, that's gonna feed uh, you're gonna feed like your XLRs and your quarter in inch puts and you know your MIDI's maybe I don't know. You're gonna feed that all in like right here. This is my one hundred my eight hundred. Then you can control the audio levels, the gain, all that good stuff on this. And then a USB is going to port it out to your computer over here. Um, which will link with like GarageBand or Pro Tools or Logic, whatever you're using. Um, and then obviously, you're also going to want to use, uh, you may want to use like some sort of like preamps for your mics and stuff. Um, one thing that was really, really super awesome is that uh, earlier this week, um, one of one of one of one of my viewers, like one of you guys, actually sent me a message and said, "Hey, I have an extra microphone preamp that I'm not using anymore. Would you would you care Would you care for it?" And that was absolutely amazing, and that was so cool of him. And I'm putting his name below right here, and I'm linking um to his channel below. You should definitely check it out. He's a cool guitarist, and he's doing lots of different recording videos and all sorts of interesting things. But anyway, he sent me the. Uh, the Banger, Banger, someone can tell me how to pronounce their, their company name, um, Mic 100, it's basically a tube ultra gain like um, preamp. And basically what a preamp is, if you guys um, don't know what a preamp is, is it basically lets you kind of control your gain and control your levels uh, before it goes into your audio interface. So for example, I would plug my mic into this and then another XLR cable would go into my audio interface my, and my audio interface would go into my computer. And the reason behind that is it's really nice to have this because I can like basically put a limiter on, I can change the gain, I can change the output, and that allows me to um, to monitor what's going into the audio interface so I don't overload it. You know, if something doesn't like you know scream too loud into the interface on accident, I'm limiting my gain on that, um, getting cleaner, more warm sound. So. Preamps are pretty important if you if you want to use them. I I'm just recently 
uh, coming to understand those, and I've been recording for about a year or two. So they're not a necessity, but once you understand how to use them, they're definitely a luxury that you that that's enjoyable to use. And then your your audio interface is a must. And obviously, there's other options I want to talk about. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is USB mixers or just mixers in general, because people seem to be really confused about these. Um, mixers are like say you have I know Banger Banger sells one that I used to have. Um, I'll put it below. Basically, your mixer is going to be is going to have like um. It's gonna have inputs just like your audio interface for your XLRs and for your um, and for your quarter inches, and you're gonna plug those in, and basically it's going to have all your like gain and maybe a couple functions on the mixer. Um, so basically, you can kind of mix it on on it physically before it actually goes into the program. But the problem with those is they don't they don't USB out, and they're kind of they're they're kind of a bitch to actually you know uh, export out. Basically what you do is you need a audio interface, uh, which is basically, again, a good company for that is Banger, I'll, Banger, I'll link it below, but it's basically a tiny little box, you can buy it for like 20 or $30, and basically what it is, is those uh, um, RCA cables, the yellow, red, white, basically the, the red and the white are your audio signals. So what's going to happen is a lot of these mixers are going to have an output, which is that red and that white. So what you have to do is you have to get a red and a white cable, link that to the output, and then link it to this, like, bang your little box thing, and then that plugs into the box, and then that box is USB, which then plugs in to your computer. So it's kind of like a little audio interface that only acts for, specifically for mixers or any equipment like that. Um, I don't know a lot of people that use mixers anymore, in all honesty. Um, I think that's a lot... I personally enjoy using an interface much more because I like to be able to manipulate my, my levels right here and then go into my, my program and it's much easier and I don't like the hassle of RCA plugs flying everywhere and I think that's kind of a pain. So it's up to you. But I kind of wanted to discuss those because I know a couple people have you know thrown around problems um, and discussion with those. So hopefully this video, um, hopefully me just kind of talking about this a little bit has kind of cleared up some of the um, some of the questions and issues you had regarding uh, audio interfaces, mixers, and preamps. So, as always, please leave any comments in the questions. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. And these videos have been going really great. So I look forward to see what you guys want me to do next. I believe I'm going to be doing something possibly on recording basses next because I've gotten a couple of responses for that. A couple of people wanting me to do that. Don't know yet. We'll see. That will be later this week. So, hope you all are doing wonderful. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.